So if we head over to work schedule, we're, we're going to see a similar format, a similar kind of calendar, also color coordinated. And in this particular scenario, we've indicated our various absences, uh, or sorry, our various statuses as locations. So in this scenario, we have users working from different kind of locations. So we have on a legend at the top here, the London office in a purple color, Brooklyn office in the blue color, Staten Island office in a green color, Queen's office orange color, and the very interesting remote work, which of course has become more and more relevant with COVID and other things happening in the world. So remote work is a very popular scenario, and we've heard from many of our um, clients, many of our users, that it would be very helpful to know who is working from office and who's working remotely. So what work scheduling does for you in this case is it allows you to see on a very easy visual format exactly who is working and from where, from which office. So if we drag our mouse here, we can see the purple color indicates the London office. So Daniel will be working from the London office the entire week of May 23rd, uh, whereas Andrew will be working from the Queen's office, and again, Daniel will be working remotely all week from the week of May 16th. So again, what this allows us to do is for users to communicate in this calendar format exactly where they will be working from in the coming weeks or months ahead. It also allows managers to indicate this for the users. So it can be used as a planning tool. Managers can indicate where they want, which office or which location they want users to be working from. So it works as a sort of schedule in that regard. So again, the feature is quite flexible. You can either use it as a tool mo mostly for communication, or you can use it as a tool for planning from the side of management. So let's have a look at the reporting capability of this feature to see and just briefly go over what kind of options the reporting gives us. So if we head over to the reports, there is a report that in this scenario will be referred to as work locations. And here, what we can see in this particular configuration of a report is how much total time is spent at each given location. So we see here user by user and month by month, how much time is spent in each location. So what can we do with this data? Well, first of all, of course, we can see where most of our employees or where more, more time is being spent rather than the other where more time is being spent in one office rather than the other. And we can also see dynamics. So if we configure the report to show us a month by month view, what we can see perhaps is a pattern whereby more people are starting to work remotely. So we see that maybe towards the end of the year, more and more users are working remotely, or maybe during certain seasons, such as the flu season, users are working remotely more often. And this kind of data, of course, helps us to have a better understanding of our work statuses and be able to plan um, our workflow internally more effectively.